It's June 19th, 2011. Brian Lynch here, standing out at the orchard. And uh, towards the end of June, uh, at the orchard, that uh, pretty much means it's uh, Japanese beetle season. And uh, most of my efforts are uh, right now focused on trying to get rid of these darn pests. Uh, standing in front, or over here, we've got a, uh, a Stanley plum tree that uh, it's got a fair amount of damage to the leaves. You can see uh, some of these leaves have been uh, pretty well skeletonized uh, by those darn Japanese beetles. And over here, you can see up oh, two Japanese beetles munching away on uh, some leaves. Hopefully it will be their uh, last meal. But uh, yeah, they've done uh, quite the number on several of the plum trees. Uh, even though I have uh, used uh, various means of control uh, to try and uh, reduce the uh, impact they have on uh, the tree. But yeah, you can see right there. Yeah, that's all uh, almost exclusively due to the uh, darn Japanese beetle stripping off the leaves. But uh, one thing interesting here out at the orchard is that uh, the plum, or the pear trees, sorry, uh, are completely unaffected by the Japanese beetle. Now I don't know if uh, it's only here or, or uh, because they've, they're so attracted to the plum trees that they've uh, almost entirely left the pear trees alone. Uh, so much so that I haven't done anything, uh, no uh, application of pesticides whatsoever, uh, uh, to the pear trees uh, in order to uh, stop the Japanese beetle. They're uh, almost completely clean and I've been out here all day and I haven't seen a single Japanese beetle even land on one of these pear trees.